An aspiring nurse met a man on Craigslist and fell in love. Truth be told, I never trusted him from the first day I met him. Her family says that they were unaware when she seemingly picked up her things and moved in with him 800 miles away. Police say he then emptied her accounts, changed her passwords, and used her bank card to buy a shovel. And now she's missing. I'm Justin Carter, this is TSR Investigates. In 2019, Irene Gakwa moved from Kenya all the way to the Boise, Idaho area for a better life. Her brothers were already there and she went to go take some classes to eventually become a nurse. And she met a man, his name is Nathan Heitman. She met him on Craigslist, but one of her brothers didn't have a good feeling about him when her behavior started to change a little bit. She not only moved in with him, but fled 800 miles to a small town called Gillette, Wyoming. The couple never told anyone and that's when communication started to fade. Kennedy Wynina says that his sister, Irene Gakwa, would check in daily through text messages or their WhatsApp. But that all stopped on February 24th, 2022. He got a call from his dad, who lives in Kenya. And he said, well, I've been trying to call her and video call her, text her. She hasn't replied to her messages, so I'm kind of worried. So I called her, she didn't answer. And I, you know, I called her like 10 or 15 times and she didn't answer. So that's when I knew something wrong. He called police in Wyoming for a welfare check. Boyfriend opened the door and said, yeah, Irene left about a week ago. She just came home one night after dinner and said, hey, I'm tired of this town. I'm moving out. According to court records obtained by the Shade Room, Heitman told police, quote, she had packed clothing into two plastic bags and announced that she was leaving Gillette. She then left the residence and entered a dark colored SUV and left the area. If she was leaving him to leave, she wouldn't abandon the family, right? If, if she was leaving him to leave, she would at least call us, you know? She would say, hey, can you guys come pick me up or help me, I'm moving out. In the weeks that followed, Wynina says that his sister was communicating through WhatsApp, but something was off. He says that Gakwa typically used a mix of Swahili and Kenyan slang in their messages, but that all stopped. It was mostly English, and the slang words that were used seemed like it was through Google Translate. First thing you always think, where's a phone? Where's a laptop? They share a phone plan and look through her phone records. It last pinged on March 4th in Gillette but there was little activity. There was also no activity on her laptop. Her login for her checking account was changed using an IP address that's in Gillette, Wyoming. By March 8th, her WhatsApp account was deleted. March 10th, her phone was deactivated. She was reported missing 10 days later on March 20th, 2022. We have information her credit card was used at Walmart after she disappeared. And according to Nate, she moved out of state. So there's no way she could be in Gillette, Wyoming, using a credit card or using her debit card. Heitman has not been charged in Gakwa's disappearance, but two months after she vanished, Gillette police charged him for stealing from her. In these court records, Gillette police say that between February and March, Heitman made two Zelle transfers from her account into his account. One for $1,000, the other for $2,666.46. Police say that he was not an authorized user on the account and the password to her credit union account was changed the day after her parents last heard from her, February 25th. Police tracked the IP address where these online transactions were made. It came back to Nathan Heitman at his home in Gillette, Wyoming. He's also accused of maxing out her credit card beyond the $3,100 limit. And when police executed a search warrant at Heitman's home, they recovered a shovel, boots, and a pair of pants that Heitman bought at a Walmart using Gakwa's Visa card. That was days after she disappeared. It says that video surveillance was obtained from Walmart about this particular transaction, and Heitman told police, quote, his motive for doing so was to force her to contact him in the event that she needed money. Heitman was charged with two felony counts of theft, one felony count of unlawful use of a credit card, and two felony counts of crimes against intellectual property for changing her bank account passwords and deleting her Gmail account. 
Heitman pleaded not guilty and was released on a $10,000 bond. Yet again, he still says he doesn't know what happened to her, but why, why would you go buy a shovel and boots? You know, why do you need those all of a sudden? Truth be told, I never trusted him from the first day I met him. Gillette police say that they've received a number of tips and are asking the public to be on the lookout for a 55 gallon metal drum that looks something like this that could be either burned or abandoned in the area. Police told the family that neighbors reportedly saw something burning in Heitman's backyard around the time that Gakwa went missing. Now we did reach out to Heitman for a comment. We're still waiting to hear back, but in the meantime, Gakwa's family has launched a website for more information and resources in the search to find her. That website is whereisirene.com. For TSR Investigates, I'm Justin Carter. Hello roommates and thank you for watching our YouTube channel. Do you want more TSR Investigates? Be sure to subscribe and check us out at theshaderoom.com.